It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. These two are playing together. In the 40s a day. We're gonna go in the RV here in a minute and I'm gonna start looking for water leaks. It's something that, oh, you tell everybody how you feel. Tell everybody how you feel about him having your toy. Yeah. Well, get it, you big old crybaby. Get it, you big old crybaby. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I've been putting, checking off my water lines for way too long. We haven't really had a reason to check them, but like I was showing you in the last video, we have some bulging on the driver's side of our RV right behind the water heater. And so I really want to get behind there and just go through everything and make sure that I don't have a small leak that would be potentially ruining the RV, you know? And hopefully we can get on top of it today. And if there is a leak, we can fix any damage that's been done and go from there. Can I have it? Come on. You're such a good girl. brick is so fast so here we are my main concern is the water heater which is under there i think audrey is going to start uh, helping me clean out underneath that because we also have to check underneath the stove because that's where the water lines go that feed this water heater so maybe we'll pull these well we're going to clean out all of this i'm going to check out, out under here we're going to get some flashlights and stuff and we're going to really go to town and, and start checking for leaks here i see dryness yeah, but it's going to be behind, back behind that. that. And to get up and look, we have to take these ones out above it probably. And that's a gas line, so we're going to need to at least take this shelf out. Yeah, so I can reach back there and really start feeling. That right there is the propane line for the stove. And then along that floor are where the lines run for. Let's see if I can see it. Not there yet. Okay, we'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. Really embarrassing socks today, so like I'm... That's definitely making the video. But, so we pulled this out and you can see right where this drawer is. We haven't been putting any weight in it. We basically have like, I don't even know why we had most of this stuff in here, but we're going to have to fix that before it goes back in there. Uh, but I had to pull it out because yeah. Because we saved these to hold um, condiments and stuff in the fridge so they don't go flying around. That's why we have an Audrey here because she knows what everything does, not me. <laughs> All right, let's pull that back and I'll crawl in there. Can you all do the recording while I stick my dumb head in here? Yeah. Oh, there's nothing, goody. There's nothing to see. Well, there's back. nothing to see back here either. Let me show the viewer. What is that? It's covered. It's, uh, I don't know if I can show you. Just stick your head in there and you can see. Oh, I don't want to stick my head in there. Oh, it's just blocked. You yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can't see anything. Yeah, I'll be putting my hand down there to feel moisture. Because this is the whole piece blocking it. It's this entire piece. It's that entire piece? Yeah. How are you supposed to fix a leak? Just start You're cutting? Not. You're supposed to, you know, buy a new RV. Oh. <laughs> you guys can see that there's this whole freaking cover over this. So, like, how am I supposed to see if there's any moisture back here at all? I, I, I'm not a big fan. I guess I'm going to stick my hand down that mystery hole. And see if there's any moisture. Oh yeah. What the hell? I can't even reach the bottom of this. And this isn't going to come out without a bunch of work. So this is why I haven't gotten back here to look for a water leak yet. The good news is I don't feel any moisture. There's nothing back here that would allude to me that, yeah, we have a water leak. I'd have to pull this back brace out, all these rails out, because this board runs the length all the way back here. Why would they do that? Yeah, and that runs all the way back, by the way. It runs the whole length, the drawers next to it. It runs all the way back. I don't see any actual water damage on the wood. You know, there's nothing that is like, oh, I need to take this apart, like this is bad. I don't smell, like if there was like serious water damage in here, I would smell that mold. So we're just gonna go ahead and say that we really hope that there's no leaks back there. And now we're gonna move, I'm gonna pull that off and I'm gonna try and get behind there. There's the electrical panel. Let me just show you. I hate pulling this off. Cause it sucks to get back on. These things don't really align up with where they're supposed to go, but you can see. Here's our electrical panel. Here's our 120 panel for the whole RV. So this is whenever I blow a breaker, which isn't very often anymore. Hey, wanna help us out? 
Subscribe to our channel. It's totally free and it would really bring us joy. Then click the bell notification so you know when we have a new video up. Thanks. This is the one I'm worried about because if there's a leak back here, I gotta take all of his electronics apart. So you notice the floor is a little weird right here. So right. it's probably had drips, but I don't know if it's actually... Well, not only that, but if there was continuous water damage, one, I think we would smell it over here. And two, I think there'd be way more floor bulging going on. Now, this is what makes me worry is that if you look in here, you can see the watermarks on the cardboard. Oh, I see. That cardboard is the, the basically the insulation for the water heater. So the water heater is literally right behind that. And then that plate right there is the outside where I have to go every time it doesn't light. And here's the propane line for the back of the fridge. Holy crap. Huh. I could get 12 volts in here. So remember, I have that small battery in the back of the fridge and I don't have enough power to keep it charged for more than like three or four days. I could take 12 volts and I could run it right where that propane line is because we don't need this propane line. I could just cut this out of here and block it off or, or do something. The problem is, is that- Oh, that thing is one. I need a, where's the other light? So when we got this, there's plenty of mouse poop to clean up, but we never got back. Poor, here. poor Artemis used to spend her summers trapped in a field in Wisconsin. And she would only really use like four or five weekends a year. Most of the time, the inhabitants in here were not humans. Mm -hmm. But you can see these gray lines are the PEX lines that actually carry the hot water. So this is what's carrying the water. Okay. And the more I look in here, the more I'm pretty convinced that there isn't any water damage. There's this carpet right here. Yeah, there's actually carpet back here, believe it or not. I don't know why they did that, but there's that carpet no back sense. here. That's none. But it's all dry. Everything okay, back here is that's, dry. Okay, that's really good. I don't see any water anywhere, which is what I was worried about. Oh, okay. here's the propane line. So I could bring that. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So I think what I'm going to do this year, one of the projects I'm going to do, I'm gonna take 12 volts, like big thick cable from that battery over there. I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of the RV right here, run that 12 volt cable up through, and then run it up through back where you see this copper line going through the back. And I'm gonna plug it into that battery that I have powering this fridge. And after that, I bet you I have enough power to the fridge to where I no longer have to run it on 110 and I can only run it on 12 volts. So I think that's gonna be one of our projects this summer. So water heater isn't leaking. I don't foresee there being any leaks on that side. The reason why I'm checking this so bad is because of all the bulging that we have Outside. on that side of the RV. And I'm wondering if that's just coming from the water leaking down from the roof and working back into the under, into the insulation, you know, from where all that ice buildup that we showed you was. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's just back creeping into there and if I just need to take some silicone and just make a really just seal it off all along that side of the RV, which I think is what I'm gonna be what I'm gonna do. I don't even see any water damage on the inside of that wood. If you look right next to the water heater all along that wall right there, there's no water damage on that wood. Oh yeah. It's all clean woods. And but on the other side of that there's bulging. So I'm like, well what the heck is that coming from, you know? We gotta get a hose vacuum back in there and get all that. Yeah, we do. Project for the summer. Okay, let's close this up and move to uh, under the sinks, huh? Okay, the back of this thing. <laughs> this thing is obnoxious. It's not. I, it's like every time I get it to go, it's like it's on an axis. It's, it's like it's turned a, itself. It's not going the right way now. Oh, yeah. Every time I get this thing to work, it's an accident. Do we have a Phillips thing? Is this just loose? Yeah, it's loose, but you, did you just bend it out? Don't judge us, YouTube. Or do, we don't care. Yeah, already judged. There, sort of. Sort of. Oh, there we go. There we go. Again, I feel like every time I do that, it's an accident. We would see water stains running down that back wall. Okay, so. So this is a real bit, a like quick check because obviously you can't really get all the way back in a lot of. And on the bottom here, you'll see that there's actually a, a false set of wall back here. So if I had to work 
on this at all, I'd have to completely disassemble the inside of this cabinet, which would not be any fun. But if there were water leaking in here, we would see that on the walls in here. What is that over there? What's what? What is that? Important. Remove this diverter. What's that mean? I have no idea what that is. Okay, cool. Let's zoom in on it. If anybody on YouTube knows what that is, can you comment what for us? And... After all, antifreeze has been flushed from the RV water system. And we'll... Oh. So that's for winterizing. Must be. So I think we're okay under here too. If you smell, if you smell gas. I've never seen that either. We, again, I put this off for probably way too long. Today on Steven pretends to be a furniture builder. Cabinet builder? I don't know what. Drawer tray <laughs> repairer. We, we were like, oh, we can just tap this back together and then it completely fell apart on us. Yeah. We're not gonna hit this very hard. No, just longer. I just wanna be able to put it back in. You know, maybe we should put some glue on it. That's a, that's a project for another video. Good enough for horseshoes and hand grenades, huh? So I see this, but that's just glue from when it was assembled. Not wet, okay. Like, well, in here, we're in here every day, so if this were any moisture at all, I would assume that we're... I would have seen. We would have seen it. Okay, so we have no internal leaks in the bus that we know of. That we can find. That's good. Without we're having to remove weird boards. But, uh, well, even if we remove boards, I don't think, I, I, I honestly think that there were a long-term water leak that was leaking on the side of that water heater, that we would have more telltale signs of a problem than what we're having. You know, we'd have that mildewy smell, we'd have a mold smell in here, and we just don't. And that doesn't mean that there might not be something seeping in the basement, and there's plenty of these PEX yeah. lines that are down there that are just about impossible. Like, the other side of this, as it goes down into the floor, is in the middle back of the RV, and good luck getting back there to check any of those <laughs> You know, I, I, I wouldn't know what to do with one of those pets. Mine's really freaking break or whatever. But, yeah, so far so good. We don't have any leaks in here. We should be doing this every, like, three to six months. We really should. And I don't think I've done it in the entire time that we've worked in here. So. Now that we've ruled out water leaks inside, now we know that the outside of the RV has to be sealed a little bit better. Because that's what's causing the bulging, I feel like, on the sidewall. And if we don't want it to get any worse, we're going to have to figure out a way to keep the moisture from dripping down off the roof and getting back underneath that wall. Because I think that's what's happening. I guess that's what I'll be focused on in future videos. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. Give us a comment because there are some things that we really, you know, we're, we're pretty, we're just learning as we go. And if you guys know more than we do, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.